Hello everyone, my name is Sadi Chohan and in this video I will show you how to fix the Plan Swift error. But if you are confused or you never use the Plan Swift software, you want to download and install, you want to start with the basic, you might want to customize the Plan Swift. So for your reference I have given all the links in the description. So it will help you to start. But if you have a question or if you have a suggestion, feel free to drop a comment. If you like to connect my social media, links are also given. Now coming back to the topic, in this video I will teach you how to fix the error. It's a very common error. Uh, it's suggested first of all to take the backups. If you don't know how to take the backup because that's the best solution. Because if you take the backup in advance, even file is corrupted, you lost the data, that's the best way to recover your project. So there is a video already in the description, make sure you take the backup. But let's consider you forgot to take the backup now how to fix this project so we, we will start with that uh, this project I received from one of my connections through LinkedIn and he mentioned that project is corrupted thanks to him he shared the project I just renamed the project so the name is confidential now whenever I'm trying to open you see this error and I'm sure if you are a plan of user you have seen this error the first way to fix the error is go to this location C drive program file for me it's in C drive but if you have created another location uh, you can find that location of course and remove the complete project so and restart the plan so if you will not see the error but it's not only ignoring the error once you remove that project you will not be able to access the project as well of course that's a quick solution if I go there so you can see here this location is same C program file plan of data storage local job and I'm here if I remove this project or maybe delete this project so there will be no error of course so that's that's a solution but it will not cover all the requirement maybe you have done a lot of takeoff you may spend weeks how to recover that you don't want to lose it so we will start from that point so I have the location where the problem is now one solution is not for all kind of error but the reason behind this tutorial is to teach you to sh to to educate you by sharing all the aspects that are that are important so you can see the error here and you can see the error at the bottom so first thing we can see here that the problem is right now in the plan Swift project pages so we will go there in a folder at the exact location plan swift test project pages we can see here and then the problem is in pod which I believe is podium I will click here and then uh, this is the file p101 and it's t05 okay it's also very important to name the file at the start of a project so if you name the file properly as an example ground floor first floor second floor so it's easy to locate but still it's fine we can uh, track the file okay so this is the file now software says in this folder data.xml file may be corrupted sometimes it says it's corrupted sometimes it says it's missing it depends so file is there so it's not missing but it's corrupted so we don't know what is the coding behind this file but sure there is something that is helping PlanSwift to read this file. PlanSwift is not able to read this file. We can't fix it but I have a solution. So PlanSwift says the error is here but it skipped this file because it read the files in a, in a sequence. So firstly PlanSwift read the above file then it go for the second and third and fourth. So instead of going at the bottom there is a reason why I'm mentioning this. So instead of going at the bottom I will go one file above and then I will copy this data XML file and then I will paste here where the problem is software will ask us to replace yes we want to replace so now we had a problem with our data XML file in this folder so I just want the file that has no issue that is fine or plansive seems it seems okay to plansive so I bring it here now this file is here so what I will do I will press ok Plans will continue reading. So if there is a problem, God forbid, if the problem is in the second file. So within a second, plans shows the the 
file t13 has an issue file zzz has an issue so it will show you one by one so you have to maybe repeat a process that you have to copy and paste in everywhere wherever you see this error okay so it depends but yeah plan swift is continue reading and it find out now the problem is in a takeoff folder so luckily we do not have a problem in any of other pages and also if you never open this location just for your information that there are several folders we don't need to add it customize because this is the only way plans have read and understand so you can see here there are many folders. two folders are very important one is pages where all your drawings are there and second is takeoff all your takeoffs that you have created it's here okay so these two are very important folder with all the data is make sure it's not duplicated make sure that XML file is there now you see here in the takeoff folder upright folder section 46 so I will open this one it's always suggested to keep it beside so at least you can read it so here you find it okay the problem is in a upright this is the one and then section 46 why we have so many sections so as an example if you're not from MEP background or you know if you if you do not have a background of firefighting so upright is an item it could be a column it could be a door so you don't just count one time you click multiple places in the drawing or multiple floors so only the problem is at 46 we don't know where we really highlighted so I will open this 46 and once again this file is corrupted now software mentioned 46 it means 45 44 software already read these files so i will assume data xml file of 45 is fine it's fixed so i will copy this one and now i will open the 46 and i will replace the data xml file fine it's replaced now i will press ok unfortunately plans if can read or identify the error in one go only twice only two times there is a possibility that still there is an error but PlanSwift can highlight the error only two times you notice one time it give us the error for the page second time for the takeoff still there is a possibility there is an error but software cannot show you in this go so we have to press ok it will close automatically again we have to click open and we have to check sometime it's stuck as well as you have seen it so we can close from the task manager most of the videos that I make for the YouTube I show you from very scratch and I make sure that I cover from the very basic and give you the idea so if you just follow if you just follow the instruction you will succeed so always make sure you don't skip the videos this is the only way you can learn so we have a file I will double click on it if there is an error plans will highlight plans will pop up and show us the error. if there is no error the project will open automatically It seems okay because PlanSwift opened the project and I can see all my pages here. I can see my takeoff as well folder and you see here there's so many uh, folders here. So I believe under the each page there's a lot of takeoff. Imagine somebody spend maybe a week or more to get all the takeoff. It's very time consuming to redo and how many seconds I spent or maybe hardly two three minutes I spend more time because I was teaching you but it's very simple also in estimating tab all the quantities are here so anyways that's the solution but the last thing if you don't know how to take the backup uh, I have given the link make sure you take the backup on regular basis so you avoid such situation where you can lose the data so that's it I hope you like the video if you have a suggestion if you have a comment feel free to drop it here and let's connect on other social media platform as well I frequently share the job opportunities some insight about the industry I hope you will find it useful as well see you in the next video